Good afternoon, I'm Steve Gladys, and today I want to talk about a book that I just read um, that I wanted to share with you, just a brief piece of it. It's a very comprehensive book, it's by David Rock, it's called Your Brain at Work. Uh, I, it's one of the more important books that I've read recently and I wanted to just share a small part with you. Uh, in the book, Rock talks about the communication between the, the sort of animal brain that we have, the limbic system, and the prefrontal cortex, the executive uh, director of our brain, the part that keeps us from saying and doing things that we'd be sorry for later on. Um, he talks uh, literally how the brain, the sort of the organizing principle of the brain, is the sort of threat reward that as stimulus comes in, as stimuli come into us, they're, they're either threats, seen as threats and rewards. And on a very basic level, you could say a threat of water, or lack of water, or thirst, or those at a very primal level are, are definitely threats. There are also five social threats that he talks about in his book. And those five social threats are, uh, are created a mnemonic called SCARF, S-C-A-R-F, which I think is a brilliant way for him to present this to us so we can remember it, speaking of the brain. And SCARF stands for uh, five letters. The S stands for status. So status. Uh, is, he's talking about, in the book, he talks about status being any threat to somebody's status is an immediate threat to their being. So that when somebody is, for example, boastful uh, in the presence of somebody else, the other person, if they feel a lack of status, will feel threatened. And so that creates a barrier between the two of you. Um, when everybody's speaking to somebody of authority, they, feel th they automatically feel threatened because of a lack of, of, of status. Anytime that you can give people status by uh, being humble, for example, in their presence, or by deferring to them, um, you increase them wanting to work with you rather than push away from you. So status is the first social threat that we can be, or we should be aware of, and can help us. Uh, the second is um, certainty. And if you wanted to see, uh, understand certainty uh, recently, uh, look no further than the fiscal cliff and things like that. Um, whenever people feel uncertain, it feels like a threat. Whenever they feel certain, uh, they feel more calm. Uh, helping other people feel certain in your presence certainly will help you um, get accepted by them, be, be less, um, have them less avoid you and more approach you. Um, so anything you can do of certainty. For example, when there's a bunch of layoffs in a company, making people feel certain about their position um, is a way of keeping them from leaving the company. Uh, so certainty is, is the second one uh, in this SCARF model. The third is autonomy. And autonomy, when people feel a threat uh, of autonomy, um, whenever you decide to, for example, change somebody's working hours, or you tell them how to do things, or, you be, or you're being directive to them, you sort of threaten their autonomy. To the extent that you can let them um, have autonomy about the way they do things, how they do things, to the extent that you can allow them to give you input, um, those things all matter in terms of autonomy. So if you want them to approach you and not, and not avoid you, give them more auto autonomy. The R, um, is for relatedness. And relatedness is simply um, the person asking themselves when they deal with you, do they feel like they're on the A team or the B team? The A team meaning, um, do, they, do they feel that a, they are, um, that they're a, a part of the process? Do they feel like they're engaged in the process? Do they feel like you care about them? Um, those sorts of things. Make people feel more comforted. When you threaten that, when you squeeze them out, don't give them information, when you keep them down, uh, so to speak, in an organization, the, the chances of them being, uh, feeling like they're, being, they're related to the organization, they're engaged in the organization, is pretty nil. Uh, and finally, uh, the last one is fairness. And fairness is simply, do we believe that an action or a person is fair? When we believe they're fair, we tend to, we tend to want to be a part of them, we, want to be, we tr tend to trust them. When we feel like they're unfair, we want to actually punish them. Uh, we want to, we want to sort of right the wrong, uh, sort of a Don Quixote esque about us all. But this idea of fairness is really a, a pretty principal one. Fairness and, and status are two of the really big ones that you want to be careful with. Um, but certainly, status, certainty, autonomy, relatedness, and fairness. Scarf, the scarf model by David Rock, I think, is worth paying attention to, and his book, I think, is well worth reading. This is just a very small part of that book. Good luck, and thank you.